Ladies and gentlemen, our island is suffering as a result of inadequate funds, and we all know this. Our government has asked vendors to provide services and products, um, but yet we have failed to pay them for many months on end. The uh, island government has asked people and businesses to pay their taxes, but yet the government of Guam has failed to pay their refunds on time consistently for many, many years. We must start making decisions on what we're going to do differently. And that is what today's task force meeting was all about, beginning to identify where GovGuam can do things differently by making massive cuts to what the administration is calling GovGuam's structural deficit. If we continue to do what the government has always done, essentially you're going to find yourself in the same situation, one year after the next. Governor Calvin and I did not get into this government to continue to drive and manage a insufficient and inadequate government with respect to uh, salaries, compensation, vendors, and all these other issues. Essentially the idea is to look at things the government has traditionally spent money on that can be cut. To do this, the task force is beginning by identifying areas that are critical and cannot be cut. Today, they identified some of Guam's critical services. For example, for education, among several other things, they identified things like classroom instruction, academic research and curriculum development and student services. For public safety, things like police patrols, rescue services, fire protection, and emergency medical services. For health, they identified things like emergency room services, MIP, environmental health, and communicable disease control. The task force basically tried to list as many critical services or services that the government must at a minimum provide. The list is not final and will be open to additions or even subtractions, but it was a starting point for the task force. As far as actual cuts are concerned, the task force discussed briefly the administration's plans for an early out retirement program that they hope will cut down on personnel costs. They also discussed items that are not very popular, namely the elimination or reduction of certain GovGuam employee benefits. Things like the lump sum payouts for annual leave, leave sharing, excessive military leave, non-productive leave for GFD, time and a half for nurses on weekends, incentive pay, hazardous pay for DOC, GPD, and GFD, night differential for 24-hour operations, retirees' health insurance, Medicare, supplemental dental coverage, elimination of non-base pay in consideration of three highest years for retirement, and certain elements of GovGuam COLA benefits.